black bag is behind the thing. Another cord? You gotta get me the box. Oh. Maybe I don't. Where did I put it? I'm looking currently for bones that I have. <coughs> Looks like a big thing. Okay, that's still covered. Yep, it's great. Make sure I everything that's coming through here. Pipe stream is coming through. Mm -hmm. I'll shut them down. <coughs> Are they under your? Sure. <laughs>
king. this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. <laughs> you may be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my privilege to welcome you here as we celebrate the beginning of the marriage of Jeremiah Newhouse and Laura Stafford. And uh, today is your wedding day. We've been waiting, right? <laughs> Jeremiah, this is a good look for you, man. A really good look. And Laura, you look absolutely radiant. Thank you. And so this is what a blessing, what a, what a privilege it is 
to be out here in the beautiful sunshine, snow-capped mountains. I mean, this is idyllic. This is fantastic. Um, and so we are filled with joy to be with you today. And you, you guys can take each other's hands. It's okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So we're filled with joy, and, and we know that, that God is here. And he is filled with joy as well. Because marriage is his idea, right? I mean, at the very beginning of time, God made man and he made woman. And we know in the scriptures it said that for this reason a man shall leave his mother and father and he shall cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. And it's the taking of two distinct people, two distinct lives and bringing them together to make one new life, to make a new life story together, a new journey together. And this is something that God had planned. He's planned from the very beginning. And your marriage is a reflection of what he wants to do with his people, right? That he wants to come alongside his people and spend an eternity with them, giving himself to them, them giving themselves to him, right? Two distinct entities coming together to make a new story. And so every marriage is meant to be this living illustration of what God does, of, of his love and his plan. And that's what you guys are beginning to embark upon today. And so God is super pleased, I'm sure. And what I'd like to do is open us in prayer, and then we'll, we'll continue. Let's pray together. Father, I, I, uh, I thank you. I thank you for your presence in this place, and I thank you for the blessing that we get to join Jeremiah and Laura on this wonderful day, to see them get married. And Lord, may we ask that you would be honored in this place, that your will would be done. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's a song. I was thinking about your, I was thinking about a sermon, what I was going to say to you guys, just a few little words to say to you at the beginning. And there's a song that came to mind, and I don't know if you've heard it. I feel like I have long hair, <laughs> so long flowing hair. And read that. But there's a song that came to mind by a guy named John Legend. And I don't know if, uh, I don't know what his beliefs are or anything else, but the words that he writes in this song, I think, illustrate beautifully God's intention for marriage. Here's what he says. He says, Because all of me loves all of you, loves your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfections. Give your all to me, I give my all to you. You're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning. Because I give you all of me, and you give me all of you. And that is the marriage of message, uh, marriage of message. That's the message of marriage underneath it all. A man saying to a woman, I give all of me to you. And a woman saying to him, I give all of me to you. That's, that's the beautiful message that's underlying it all. And we see that even reflected in what God has done, right? That he gave all of himself for us. Do you remember what Philippians says? It says that, um, Christ did not take his equality with God as something to be used to his own advantage, but he, what, he emptied himself. He emptied himself. He took on the form of a servant. He left his throne, became a human, right? He, he did all of those things. He gave all of himself for us. And that's the beautiful picture that God is, is doing. And why did he do that? Why did he do that for us? And if you remember in Ephesians chapter 2, he talks about how he, God did all of these things. He made us alive with Christ. He did all of these things so that he can show us his incomparable kindness in Christ Jesus for eternity to bring the two together, right? Jesus Christ lived a perfect life on planet Earth, died on the cross for our sins, right? To redeem us, to bring us back to him, right? And I think it's interesting. Even when he loses, he's winning, right? It's like the song says. I think it's very interesting. But he does this to show us kindness forever. So what does Ephesians say to the married couples? You know, husbands, love your wives like Christ loved the church. So what, do, what does Christ do? He gives himself for the church, all of himself. And it says, wives, submit to your husbands. Respect your husbands. What does it say? Wives, give yourself to your husbands. Husbands, give yourself to your wives. Wives, give yourself to your husbands. This is the underlying message of marriage. And I look in your eyes, the commitment you make today. I give myself to you. I 
pledge myself to you. And that is the beauty. That's the beauty of what the bride says at the end of Song of Solomon when she says, I am my beloved's and he is mine. I belong to him. He belongs to me. I've given myself to him. He has given myself, himself to me. So this is my invitation for you today as we, as we begin this ceremony just to consider something very simple because so much is going to pass today. So much is going to fly by here. I am here today giving myself to you. And I'm giving myself to you. Right? That's the beauty of the commitment of marriage. And so what I'd like to do is ask you guys to join hands with one in both hands. And you're going to give each other some vows today. And so before we do that, let me pray one more time. Father, as Jeremiah and Laura commit themselves to each other, may this commitment be impressed upon their hearts and emblazoned on their minds. And in your power and your honor, may they give themselves to each other, not just today, but for the days to come. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so Jeremiah, you get to go first. We're going to do the vows right now, so you're just going to repeat after me. All right, I'll say something, you repeat it. Simple enough? Yeah. All right. I, Jeremiah, take you, Laura. I, Jeremiah, take you, Laura. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Laura, repeat after me. I, Laura, take you, Jeremiah. I, Laura, take you, Jeremiah. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Now what Jeremiah and Laura are going to do is they're going to pour something called unity glass. And um, what is this? Well, Laura and Jeremiah, they've chosen different colors of glass that represent each of them in a special and unique way. Throughout their lives, they've been two colorful, complete, amazing people all on their own, just like the glass. Laura is loving, she's loyal and adventurous, as represented by green. And Jeremiah is caring, supportive, um, I just lost my place here, <laughs> and honest. He's caring, supportive, and honest as displayed in blue, okay? But today is special. Today, today they become husband and wife and create a new beautiful combination of colors tied together by ivory, which represents the unfailing love and unchanging nature of God. God is present in Laura and Jeremiah's life before today and going forward, he is present and unchanging. So Laura and Jeremiah are together creating a new life and mixing their personalities and characteristics into their marriage. Symbolically, they're creating something unique to just the two of them in their wedding vows and marriage. And after their unity glass ceremony today, the colorfully mixed pieces of glasses, glass will be made into a one-of-a-kind one of glass ornament as special as their love for each other. The pieces of their personality that complement each other and the unchanging nature of God will be reflected in the glass ornament they will display in their home forever. This new sculpture will be a physical reminder of their beautiful personalities, love, and commitment to each other and God. So Jeremiah and Laura, please come on up and you can pour the unity glass.
Jeremiah, what item have you brought today to serve as a reminder of the commitment that you've made to one another? Green. Greens. May I see one of them? Pick one here. So if you guys remember, ring is circular. It represents unending commitment, right? A ring is also made of precious metal to show its cost and its worth as marriage is costly, but it's also worth it. <laughs> it's so worth it. It's sturdy, not easily destroyed. Um, and I think one of the beautiful things about it is it just signal, it symbolizes to anybody you meet, someone loves me, someone is committed to me, somebody has given themselves to me. I wear this ring to remind me of that and to tell you of that, stay away from me, kind of thing, right? <laughs> but this, that's the beautiful thing about this ring. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this to you. This is for, actually, I'm gonna give this to you, Laura, okay? So Jeremiah, you're gonna go first, and I want you to take Laura's left hand, and you're gonna slide the ring in her finger, and as you do, I want you to repeat after me, all right? Laura, I give you this ring. Laura, I give you this ring. As an enduring reminder. As an enduring reminder. And symbol, and symbol of the commitment, of the commitment I have made to you. I have made to you. Please wear this. Please wear this. And know that you are loved. And know that you are loved. Okay. So Laura, take Jeremiah's left hand. You're gonna slide and repeat after me. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As an enduring reminder. As an enduring reminder. And symbol, and symbol of the commitment of the commitment I have made to you. I've made to you. Please wear this. Please wear this. And know, and know that you are loved. That you are loved. All right. Let's, let's pray. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we thank you that we can be here to celebrate, to see Jeremiah and Laura commit themselves to each other. And Lord, may you bless their union. May they be a safe harbor to each other in the midst of life's storms. May they be led by your spirit to love each other well. And may they be inspired by how much you love them. We, may, uh, we thank you for all you're going to do in and through their lives. And may Jesus be lifted high in their marriage. As it is in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah, Laura, it is my privilege. Um, by the authority vested in me by the state of California and the Church of Jesus Christ to pronounce you husband and wife. Jeremiah, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Well, it's my, it's my privilege to present to you for the very first time in public Mr. and Mrs. Newhouse. Let's hear it for him, everybody.
that very beginning, so they can. Yeah. And then that'll give us time. To, well, the whole family, the whole yeah.